Ontario has the highest population and based on their population, there is always demand for certain kinds of jobs. Hello friends, welcome back to the Canada Info Hub channel. My name is Wolo and if this is the first time you are seeing my videos, I'll just ask you to subscribe to this channel smash the like button destroy the like button because i share information about life in canada and immigrating to canada in fact it is a one-stop channel for everything canada any information about canada um, concerning immigration leaving um, education anything that is happening in canada i share the information on this channel for everybody to know and it's actually useful for people who plan to immigrate to Canada or who plan to come to study in Canada. Today's video is actually an update. Yes, I love giving updates because things keep changing. And it's an update concerning one of the immigration programs for Ontario. Ontario has the highest population. And based on their population, there is always demand for certain kinds of jobs those jobs they use they rarely find people to fill those jobs and that's why there is an immigration program called the ontario employer job offer stream so that immigration program is very unique in the sense that um and ontario employers look for workers and then after nine months of them working they can apply for a provincial nomination it is very unique because it also gives the opportunity for people outside canada to search for such jobs and initially they had 10 occupations that were eligible 10 occupations were eligible i'll show you the list and i'll also do a a more like a small video of their website where you have the details there at the end of this video that's where you see the information so you can go to the website to read it yourself so basically 10 occupations were in demand and those 10 occupations were eligible for employers to search for people to give them job offers in Canada where they cannot see uh, uh, anybody to take those job offers in Canada they can offer those job offers to people outside Canada. And that's where you find a lot of people actually coming to Canada on that work permit, living in Ontario. And um, recently, they updated that list. It was 10 occupations before. Now they have added 13 occupations. Now, for the 10 occupations, there, there was no restriction to where the job offers would be. If it's in Toronto, if it's outside Toronto, if it's outside the major cities, there was no restriction. It's either inside or outside. But this particular one, they've added 13 occupations now. Um, the 13 occupations, the requirement is that it has to be outside the city of Toronto and some other places. You, you will see the details on their website, so you take note of that. So it requires a job offer and there's no restriction to um, anybody applying. In fact, the website specifically states that if the employer cannot find someone in Canada to take the job offers, they can offer those job offers to people outside Canada. So it's basically low skilled work and people who can operate machines, different kinds of machines. What I encourage you to do is to take a look at those occupations and see the one that you know you can do. It just requires work experience. And I find that um, people from Asian countries are able to take advantage of these job offers because they actually have industries and factories that hire people en masse to do this kind of job. So I don't know if Africa has such industries that, you know, train people to do assemblies, electrical part assemblies, mechanical operators, and all that. There are several other occupations like truck driving, um, industrial sewing operator that I know people from Africa can actually do. There's also opportunity for personal support workers. Of course, I've already mentioned it before and several times on my video that if you are a nurse, it is better to apply for the position of a personal support worker. You should target the nursing homes. Do not target hospitals. Target nursing homes because if you target hospitals, you're just wasting your time. So target nursing homes and um, search for job opportunities in nursing homes as personal support workers. Okay, so that being said, these 23 occupations, people from outside Canada can apply. And if you know you do not have the educational qualifications, you do not have the funds to immigrate, 
the best thing you can do is to search for jobs in these 23 occupations because these 23 occupations are eligible for people both in Canada and outside Canada. So I know it's going to take time because it's quite difficult searching for jobs, especially during these COVID times. But one thing I would encourage you to do is if you have any relative living in Ontario, you could ask the relative to help you search for such jobs. Yes, ask the relative to help you. If that's the only thing the relative can do by calling employers on your behalf to search for a job for you and you know networking on your behalf and talking to them on your behalf, connecting you to employers, then that is something that is, is something that is that is good for you. You know, but if you do not have any relative, you have to go through the traditional route of going online like job bank, like um indeed.ca to search for jobs. And, and I think I need to do a video of websites where you can search for jobs. I'll do a comprehensive video for that, but maybe sometime in the future. I don't know when I have the time, I'll be able to create time for that. So if you find yourself in this position where you know you do not have the educational qualifications, um, I mean, we have one or two relatives that did not go to school, but we know that they can do one or two things. They, they have this hands-on work experience, maybe like sewing machine operators and all that. You could start searching for jobs. So if you do not have the educational qualifications and you know that you can work as a general farm laborer, you can work as um, an industrial sewing machine operator. I mean, we have a lot of um, tailors. We have a lot of seamstress that can work in this capacity. So the best thing you can do is to start searching for jobs. And the requirement is you must have a full-time job offer. After you must have searched for these jobs, like I said, you can talk to your friends, your relatives living in Ontario to help you search for these jobs. Once you get the job offer, it must be a full-time permanent job offer. Um, you can use that as an opportunity to apply for a work permit and when you come to Canada after working for nine months you become eligible to apply for a provincial nomination under the employer job offer stream on the Ontario employer job offer stream so that is um, an immigration pathway for people who do not have the educational qualifications but they have the experiences and can work in those jobs you know, there are so many jobs in Canada that people in Canada do not like doing. And that is why you have these jobs listed on the Ontario government website stating that employers can employ people from outside Canada in these jobs. So take a look at the list of these 23 occupations and look at the one that you know you can apply for. If you know you can apply for any of those 23 occupations on that list it is best to get a Canadian standard resume as usual and then if you have a relative like I've mentioned before talk to the relative to help you connect you with employers in places outside the city of Toronto or in the city of Toronto as well based on the 10 occupations the other 13 occupations are cities outside Toronto and let them connect you to employers and you know get those jobs and you apply for a work permit and you're on your way to canada so whatever you're doing try as much as possible to avoid fake job offers because there are fake job offers everywhere there are fake job offers also in canada try as much as possible to avoid fake job offers and ensure the job offer you're getting is a genuine job offer this job offer does not rule out the fact that you also have to write IELTS and evaluate your credentials. It doesn't rule it out. So by the time you come to Canada and work for nine months, that makes you eligible to apply for the employer job offer stream for a provincial nomination. You still have to evaluate your credential. You still have to write the IELTS exam. So it doesn't rule it out. So do not quote me. You read it on the website so you have all the details and um thank you so much for watching this video please ensure you share it with your friends and loved ones and click on the subscribe button if you have not subscribed to this channel and see you in my next video bye bye